Andrew McCaw, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm here in Manchester ahead of Anthony Crawler's One Last Stand show on Saturday night. With me I've got Nathan Farrell. Nathan, first time I've met you. How yep. are you? Yeah, I'm good mate, thank you. Thank you very much. You've got uh, your third professional fight coming up on Saturday. How are yeah. you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good. Um, I think my last one was uh, six weeks ago, but it feels like feels like this has took quite a long time to get here, to be honest. Uh, obviously I've been dreaming about it and stuff like that, so uh, maybe that's why. Um, I have had an opponent change last night, which isn't ideal, um, but it sort of um, it, it switched me on a little bit mm -hmm. as soon as I got told like one person because my original opponent, to be honest, he, he campaigns at maybe a weight below me, and I just think those type of guys won't really take my strength to be honest. So I was quite confident of maybe getting him out of there, um, but, but but unfortunately he decided last night that he wasn't he wasn't gonna fight. So um, we went looking for other opponents. Fact five knocked us back, um, but then Matchroom came back with um, another Croatian fella um, who campaigns at two weights heavier than me. But I just said, listen, get get him in. You still get the stoppage? <laughs> <laughs> maybe not. May, maybe not. But um, <coughs> listen, he, he, he tends to he let his hands go a little bit more than me, me last two. And I do like to counter punch. That is m mm -hmm. my game, really. I like to like to relax and touch him with a jab and, and set the counters up. I've not been able to do that in my last two fights. I've been chasing it. Really don't like chasing it. Um, I've performed well. Pete, everyone's been impressed. Um, but if this guy does open up, um, he's a shorter than me, but stocky. It might suit me down to the ground. I don't mind uh, him being heavier than me because I've sparred with like super middleweights and light heavyweights anyway. And I don't wear a head guard in sparring. It's not like, you know, it's nothing new really. Mm. Only difference is there's pressure on me under the lights, big show. Manchester as well. Manchester, and I'm from Manchester. Um, and uh, I, I put myself under a lot of pressure anyway in everything that I do. So I'm under a lot of pressure because of the pressure that I put myself under. Mm. And um, I'm, I'm forcing myself to, you know, get some sort of a decent performance out of myself to, on Saturday. Well, you talk about all the opponent changes, the opponents that you're getting and stuff. You're two and zero. You're going to be three and zero. Yeah. Going well on Saturday. Yeah, so, yeah. this stage in your career, you're going to face these types of fighters yeah. that just turtle up and don't yeah, yeah. engage. Yeah. The fact that you've got somebody who's going to maybe open up yeah. the same ambition as you, yeah, yeah. counter punching, is going to maybe see the best of you. Is that right? I'm team? hoping so. Yeah. yeah that's. Uh, don't get me wrong. When I initially got told my opponent was pulled out, I was like, oh no, what's all this about? Mm -hmm. But but when I think about it, if the guy comes and tries roughing me up a little bit. I actually welcome that, you know, when I'm sparring and stuff like that, I welcome it in because it, I'm, my defence is, uh, I, I, I'm like, I pride myself on my defence a little mm -hmm. bit. I'm, my, I'm a defensive fighter, but when I need to put it on him, I'll put it on him. But I like, I like to shoulder roll and dip and and, and set up counters. So if he, if he if he if he gets excited under the lights on on a big show himself, then uh, it might just make me bring out my counter punching so mm -hmm. it might work out great so we'll just have to see. I want to talk about the division you're sitting in right now, the super lightweight division, lightweight, or eight one, whatever you want to call it. It's probably one of the better it's probably is probably the better yeah. divisions yeah. nowadays, isn't it? Yeah. You've got the likes of obviously we just seen last weekend yeah, uh, yeah. on Saturday night Josh Taylor you just programmed yeah, yeah. but at your level there's Dalton Smith, there's guys that keep the uh, Sean McComb over in Belfast, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got the golden contract for the super yeah. lightweight so you must be buzzing about that. Yeah well all the names you said there, really, they're like, yeah, they're they're, 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 yeah, are, yeah, 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 most, most definitely. Uh, Josh Taylor's obviously, he's he's up there with, at the elite right now, um, and he's a southpaw like myself, so I do take uh, pointers from. Could got some sparring yeah. with Josh. Yeah, uh, yeah just, uh, of course, yeah, um, and um, obviously you look up to the to the guys who, who are doing it right mm -hmm. now, and Josh Taylor is very much doing it right now. He's number one in the world, and um, but yeah, I'm just. Uh, the way my story is a little bit different to everyone else's, like you've got your GB stars and stuff like that. I left amateur boxing, um, undefeated uh, national champion, when my brother turned pro. I went to the pro gym with him, so I learned in the pro gym. So you never, you've never been beaten? No. Never been beaten? No, no, no. Wow, no. that's, that is a good story. So I sneak that in there. He's <laughs> <laughs> never been no. beaten, everyone's going to come well, after well, you. Then. Well, yeah. Um, but um, and my, my life sort of took a, it took a different, a different path. Um, when my brother had a brain injury against Anthony Crawler in 2012, I basically quit. I said, I don't want to know boxing, but obviously time's a healer. And then you sort of fall back in love with it and stuff like that. And um, I've had my own injuries that put me out for, for like, I couldn't, I couldn't walk properly for four years. Mm -hmm. um, my life got to a bad, quite, a, quite a low. Uh, I've had bad depression, 
um, but I'm fine now, I've overcome all this and I thought, you know what, there's no pressure on me anymore. When I was amateur and people were writing about me and like this kid, this kid and, and stuff like that, you do feel that pressure, but it's all gone now. Whatever I do now is a bonus and to make it to this stage already, you know, I am, I'm, I'm proud of myself mm. and although I do put a lot of pressure on myself, um, there sort of is no pressure on me because no one, no one expects anything. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not touted as the, the big thing, but I do believe I've got the ability. Um, I'm a southpaw, tricky southpaw. I've got an, uh, an IQ, a decent IQ in terms of boxing, and I, I believe I'm a bit of a dark horse, and I do think I'll make my way up through the ranks. Do you think that's going to stand you a good stand in, in the fact that you haven't went through the GB squad? Nobody's sort of like saying, oh, this guy's destined for this, and you've got that pressure of, like, he has to become world champion because he's in the GB squad, he went to the Olympics. The fact that you haven't had yeah. that, do you think that's going to stand well, you in good stead well, the fact that you can relax well, a little? When it comes to fighting, like, for titles and stuff like that, I won't be the favourite, because mm -hmm. when I fight someone who's uh, touted as this and that, I'm just not going to be the favourite. However, it's like I know what they don't know. I know I, I, I've got ability, so, so, you know, and to be honest, the fact that I didn't carry on amateur boxing, I believe I was destined to. to what would your record quickly if you don't remember? Uh, uh, 10 fights, 10 wins. Um, I've beat three national champions in those 10 wins. Um, and and I was, Juno was a pro, so you've yet to face the feet of the you know, that's it. Really yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. And, and uh, to be honest, I never came close to getting beat. At, like, when I spar, you know, I, I probably need to be sparring these these top, top guys to, to, to lump me up a little mm -hmm. bit because when I'm, when I'm sparring, you know, Joe Bloggs, I'm sort of like, not getting out of first gear and and it's a, it's a bit of a breeze and I, I was like yeah sound no worries jump out I lit a bag and and it's sort of like it's slow burning even though from the outside of looking in everyone's like wow he's on this he's on this mm. but the training's slow burning people aren't turning up to sparring and stuff like that uh, I don't want I don't want to sell myself on here for a lot of you know, bad sparring you have, you have. but, uh, but um, I, I do well I will welcome it you know uh -huh. what I mean um, but all that's been in my mind since I started boxing again this year is I've had three. I've not looked past three. You know, I had a feeling this this night was gonna was gonna come, and and it did. And um, I just need to get the win here, see what everyone's saying, see 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 if he impress it again, um, and then I'll probably park it up for Christmas, and then crack on, crack, 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 yeah, crack on, and, and hopefully hopefully stuff like this becomes the norm, and, and I do get on these shows all the time and um, people get involved and stuff like that. What I'm hearing, I'm hearing good things, so so fingers crossed. Uh, I get this out of the way on Saturday. Um, you know, he, he does look a big guy, but I'll see him, I'll see him clear out of the way, and mm -hmm. I might might stand next to him and think, nah, it's, it's fine, it's yeah. So, um, but I just know I've got to stick to my boxing box well, and I know I can do that, so. Yeah. What's uh, the ambition then, Nathan, going as a pro? Is it just, like people just set small time goals, Brits champion, Oh, I'm a British champion, let's go for the Europeans. Is that the sort of mindset you've got? Um, well, to be honest, the, the goal from where I came back from was just to fight again. Mm. I didn't actually think about matchroom boxing and, and all this. I didn't really. I just wanted to, for a bit of self peace, I wanted to fight again. Just to, because I had two surgeons tell mm. me I'll never walk properly again. Uh, and and what I'm was a, the accident, if you don't mind me I had a, a full rupture to my ACL, but it dra dragged on for five years. Mm. And by the time five years came, it was a, it was a mess. And they basically said, you are what you are now, it's not getting any better. So I went away and I started doing squats with weights on my shoulders when it shouldn't have been. Mm. But I got it somewhere, so I'm proud of myself for that. But, um, but I don't want to I, I don't want to give a sob story, mm -hmm. I want to be judged on, on me fighting anyway, because mm. I, I believe in my ability anyway, so um, I don't want to keep banging on about that. But I am proud of coming back from where I came back from. But people are going to judge me on, on my performances anyway, so... Uh, you just So you're just going to take it one fight as a, a yeah, thing then? Yeah, well, well, it's sort of getting going, it's quite, it's quite fast, it's, it, you know, the bandwagon's rolling quite quite rapidly um, since since that day that my licence came through the door, this has all happened quite fast. Um, I'm, a, I'm not surprised, because I do believe that I, I'm, I'm good enough at mm -hmm. this stage, but... Um, I'm literally taking my life day by day, and whatever happens, happens, and, I, and it's working for me. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Um, don't get me wrong; I do believe I can be British champion. I do believe I can, I can win these titles. But I'm not going to, I'm not going to start screaming and shouting about it. I don't really want to do that because yeah. I don't want to be. You know, you see these guys like the nice guys in person, but they come across on the camera a bit, and no one likes them. I don't want to be that. To be honest, I, I want to, I want to uh, remain humble out of the ring and in front of the cameras as well and just take it step by step 
and I do believe good things will come of it. Definitely. Well, you said there uh, that you're going to take it day by day, but if I'm going to sort of press you, like jumping in a year from now, so I'm got the camera in front of your face yeah. this time in 2020, yeah. a year from now. Yeah. What would you like to have around you? What would you like? Where would you like to be? I'd say possibly um, 2020, pr pretty much more the same. Because it is quite fresh More right tattoos, now. More tattoos, I can see. Yeah, tattoos yeah. All your hands. I've not got much space for them, <laughs> but um, I'll find some space somewhere. Yeah, your face yeah. <laughs> um, more the same, more the same of, uh, as this year, and then maybe with that 12 month <clears throat> under me, I'm ready to, I'm ready to go. To be honest, uh, yeah. um, I've just turned 26, so it's not like still I can. A baby. Yeah, I'm still a baby, but you know, you wouldn't want to be at, hanging around for three, four years and stuff like that. You know, just just doing this sort of yeah. stuff. But um, I'd say another 12 months of this, experiencing all this, and then I'm open to, to, to anything really. Oh, well, you touched on Josh Taylor Regis Progre. It's obviously a fight that's in your division. Obviously, everyone's singing the, the praises of the two fighters Regis yeah, and yeah, Josh yeah, yeah. because the way they fought. Yeah. Just, since it's in your division, just give me your thoughts on the fight. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did watch it. Uh, I didn't watch it to score it though. Yeah. So I, I couldn't give you a scorecard. Um, I was happy Josh Taylor won. Obviously, you want, you want, you want the Brit to win. Mm. Um, it was a great fight. It was a, it was a great fight. Josh Taylor's a good southpaw. He's a tidy southpaw, though. See, my style's more a bit like elusive, mm -hmm. you know, a bit like I have my hands down and my head's moving. Uh, I can mix it up, but I like how how he keeps it together. Mm -hmm. he, he, and but his passion got him through that fight for the win. The the, the American fella, full of ability. But Josh Taylor just wanted it a bit more, so he, he deserved to win, to be fair. Definitely. Yeah. Well, I won't keep you much longer. I'm definitely going to catch you after your fight on Saturday yeah. night. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, hope you get the best yeah. business you've yeah. talked yeah. about. Oh, I, I, I hope, hopefully he walks on to one and I'm flattering him. Yeah, so, in the first round, if you look at me yeah, and say, told yeah, you, yeah, yeah, told fingers you. crossed, but listen, <laughs> if I win on points... Uh, a win's a win. Yeah, 40-36, shutout win, that'll, that'll do me. Definitely, and that's the way, just yeah. a happy win. That's it. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks for watching TV, Cheers. and uh, I'll see you at the win tomorrow. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks so much, Thank man. You.